Welcome back. Forgive my hair. My hair is a mess. I'm not done preparing. I'm still preparing, but I just want to say welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I really wanted to talk to you guys like before I go write this exam. Me, Mara. As you can see, laying my edges took so much time and I'm so late. So I think I'm going to talk to you guys like after the exam. But yeah, guys, I missed you guys so much. It's been two months and I haven't even said like welcome to my YouTube channel. So yeah guys, let me finish up because the girl me guys, I'm using this, this, this whatever thing to just make sure because it's so cold, right? And then it's actually like so windy as well. So that's just so frustrating to be honest. So I just wanted to make sure that as I go to write this exam, am I ready for it? Um... be ready for an exam though because like lectures like surprising you like if you think you got this you know they will show you that you don't got anything so yeah let me just finish up with this hair oh my gosh imagine looking this pen to go write an exam like i'm so extra i'm so so extra oh my gosh oh. last minute yo i was actually studying i've been studying for this exam you know because i, I didn't really study it like in advance because it's calculations you get it's calculations yeah it's public health i'm writing public health today so it's not really like a hectic exam it's one of those you get the vibe so yeah i was actually studying for the exam that i'm writing on wednesday I'm writing microbiology and I've been struggling with microbiology this year. So I've been studying that instead of this one. Yo guys, what a way to start a Monday. I haven't eaten. I haven't done anything. I'm so behind schedule, guys. And the color combinations. But you know what? I feel like this is, it's okay, man. I'm going to write in it. In it. I'm going to write. So there's basically no need for me to, to look this pen. Her. okay guys so i'll talk to you guys later because i'm actually rushing for the bus it's current your it's like 12 p.m and my paper is at 14 but we're going with the school bus so i need to rush because your girl is broke i'm broke and ciao but i missed you guys so much Bruh. wish me luck guys wish me luck by the way this is not my first exam I started last week. I'm writing for three weeks. This is the second week. And last week was... I wrote three papers. Two okay. One was... God is in control. But yeah, guys, let's go. This is... Outfit of the day, guys. I, uh, well, it's part of my exam. It's not the outfit. I didn't even comb my hair properly. Like, I'm going to stress, Mara. Let's go because I'm late, Mara. Sun kissed Kesara. Yeah, this key. 
Yo. Why even one shaz on my event in Haibo? Good morning, guys. So we just woke up. Lies. We didn't sleep. We didn't sleep. So I'm going home. We didn't sleep. The paper is at nine. I'm not done. I'm not ready. And it's so cold, guys. Like, I highly don't recommend medical school because you don't rest. I'm done preparing and I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm not ready for the for the actual exam to be honest i'm nervous i'm scared uh i'm so hungry i'm tired um i slept in school i got back this morning and i, I still couldn't eat because i just got back and i showered and then after taking a shower right now i'm going back to school yeah so hopefully i have time to go through just a couple of essay questions because Yo, that is my heart right now, ne? I'm tired. Like, I'm tired, but let's go do this, guys. And today I'm wearing a trick suit that my dad got me. Head to toe. Per. Push P. Yeah, push P. Come here. Come here, P. Come here, P. Push P. Cop no hammer for my P. We don't want no P. Got spot and cuffs back. Get the P's. Drop the data, now we flat. The fatty P's. She not a little bit for P. She turned P. Guys, it's time. I don't feel ready. I don't feel ready for this at all. I don't feel ready. God. Yo, I don't feel ready. I'm so stressed. I don't feel ready. I don't feel. Their panica. Let's go right. Let's go right. Yo, people are going in, guys. morning i'm so crusty the lighting is bird let me open the hot thing let me open the hot thing <laughs> mm. oof that's better that's better i've opened the curtain the hot thing so today is basically thursday guys the crusty um and i'm not writing today i'm writing my last paper tomorrow baby and then we are saying bye to third year i mean hopefully because <laughs> obviously guys i have to pass because like if i no i'm going to pass but like obviously like you know how it is okay if you don't know like if i fail obviously then i have to repeat or prepare for a supplementary exam but that's like the worst case scenario but i am going to be studying over the holiday um just in case because there's this one paper that i'm not confident in so just in case i have a sub but then you know what i'm not trying to have doubt you know because i know god can you know yeah but so far so good guys just like to talk about it um third year medical school has been hard it's been difficult like guys like i'm gonna insert a clip here let me show you something that was um just a couple of weeks ago I got 26% for my test that I actually prepared for, but I didn't do good. And yo, I just, cause I, I went blank. And then you know what was annoying? I remember the entire essay 
when i left the room and i'm just like am i mad and that was literally like because i really put in so much effort in that test and because i'm really scared of it because i was really struggling with it the whole year mm, my phone is about to fall guys child yeah where was that yeah because i've been really struggling with uh microbiology the entire year so i really put in so much effort i remember like i was in hospital the friday because i wasn't feeling well and then i went to do my hair on saturday and i fainted at the salon and then i didn't eat the entire weekend and then i went on monday to write only for me to get 26 percent after like putting in so much effort i got a 26 percent guys like it broke me <laughs> it really broke me ain't gonna lie so yeah i'm just so happy that yesterday i wrote the microbiology exam and and fortunately it wasn't it wasn't bad like it was so so much better than what i expected it to be you get so i'm so happy and i'm grateful to god for pulling through because i remember when i left the exam because my mom i, I literally told my mom before i went to write i was like mama uh pray for me because this is the uh, exam i've been struggling with so much i only passed one test like we wrote four tests right for the whole year and the first one i got 61 percent then the second one that's where i got 26 percent then i got 30 uh 47 percent so i've really been struggling with this one no going to i'm not going to lie and then like my other courses are doing so good like i'm getting 80 percent 70 percent you get 60 i'm not failing but then this one was the one course that was actually putting in so much effort and i was doing so bad so i literally told my mom yesterday before going to the exam and i'm like mama please pray and when i left the exam room my mom was the first person i spoke to and i was like ah, mama i can't believe it like it wasn't the best it wasn't perfect right but like i was expecting so much worse you get my point but like they gave us six essay questions right and where to choose four and i could write something on each and every essay question and that was the first time that i'm actually answering an essay question the entire year for this course so i literally told my mom and my mom my mom literally told me that she was praying the entire time as i was writing and i knew it i could feel it you know like when i was writing i was like because mm, when at first when i opened the paper and i went to the essay questions i felt blank and then i went to the mcqs right and then i went when i went back to the essay questions i was like damn i know this i did this I know this i'm like what thank you jesus that was that was yesterday guys this is just a recap and then like uh today i'm not in the mood guys like it's already like 11 and i'm writing tomorrow but this is me waking up i'm even in my bed comfortability as if i'm not writing my amdr exams you know but tomorrow i'm writing pharmacology it's all about drugs i don't really plan on studying it because it's a wastage of time <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking I, I plan on studying it i just want to well i just woke up i just want to like uh get something to eat i'm going to go outside and study outside i'm just going to be doing past papers and things like that and yo we are about to finish third year baby this year has been so rocky but like yeah guys i hope you guys are okay i hope you are enjoying the vlog so far i feel like this is going to be like my longest vlog ever yeah literally and you guys have been begging for more vlogs so cha cha my pillow is dirty and this is like not the pillow it's not a pillowcase like i removed my pillowcases to have them washed before i go home i haven't been home in 10 months like do you get how excited i am like cha cha but yeah guys let's just let me get up so i start preparing for the last exam you can feel the last one i oh but i'm so tired do you know like i've been like waiting exams for like two weeks now and i'm so tired like i'm so tired i really don't feel like studying ciao <laughs> I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yearning. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day.
Hi guys, so it is already Friday. I was unable to vlog like during the day because ciao. I was preparing for the exam as you all know my last exam and now I'm back home I just finished like freshening up uh, I want to run a few errands and go out and I'm taking you guys along with me but as for my papers paper one was okay I wrote paper one in the morning it was three hours I only wrote it for like an hour because I didn't know nothing not that I didn't know nothing but like yeah the paper two was okay I can't complain about paper two honestly it was like 100 MCQs, 1 hour 30 minutes. I managed to finish it in like 30 minutes, ciao. And now like I'm back home, all freshened up, I'm ready to go. So basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to the bus station. Y'all, this time I'll be going home by bus. Like Zambia to SA by bus is, it's a hectic ride, but like it's not a hectic ride because I literally stay close to the border. I'm close to the South African border, I'm close to the Botswana border. But I'm going to buy a bus ticket right now. Um, and then after buying a bus ticket, um, I want to buy a couple of things for my siblings and my dad and my mom. For my dad, I still don't know what I'm going to get him. But for my mom, a perfume. My sisters, I'm going to give them perfumes as well. Because if I don't, they'll be using my mom's perfume until until. You take the vibe. And then for my little brother, a soccer ball, obviously. Yeah. Because the one I got him last time is like destroyed. So I know he needs a soccer ball. And then after that, I'm going to take myself out because, ciao, I deserve it. It's been like a hectic year. And I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. So let's go, baby. So like I've arrived me, like I've arrived and I've been here for like 20 minutes. The food is taking so much time and I'm so hungry, you know, like I'm so, so hungry, but like, anyway, let's give them their time. Ciao. I'm on a solo date. I like this place because there's no one around. So I don't feel weird when I'm vlogging. It's so empty guys, like so empty. There's literally no one, you know, and there are no students here, no young people. It's just like big business people. <laughs> but like, so I just like the peace because like, you know, people my age, they, when I'm vlogging in front of them, I feel judged. But right now, there's basically no one and I'm just so at peace, guys. Like this place is just so peaceful. I feel like it's, it really is my favorite place. Guys, what's the flower for? Eh? <laughs> like I'm so ghetto. Like I'm so ghetto. No, because like what is this? Why? Yeah, I man, he has me extra. I get that it's a fancy place, but I eh, eh, you know who my what? Why? For what? I eh, eh, no don't know what I mean. Hey, bo, oh, yeah, hmm, guys. I'm done eating and I'm about to go. I'm waiting for the bill and the chef literally came to ask me if I enjoyed the food. Like, bruh, what? The hospitality is top notch. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You've reached the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. See you in the next video. Bye. Anything you want me to do, maybe another time, maybe another life. You will be my wife and we'll get it right.